my nation has a national Alzheimer's disease, which is that it doesn't remember what happened yesterday, much less what happened a hundred years ago. You cannot function without a knowledge of history, and you cannot function. Five, four, three, two, one. The last 250 years of the Muslim world have been an extremely difficult time. And I believe that this has been our dark age. And this is, of course, the time in which the colonial project reached its apex. And then there was the post-colonial nightmare of the Muslim world. And uh, so I think that many Muslims all that they know about themselves is mediocrity and failure. And they have no idea who they were. And therefore, they also have no notion of who they could be. Then you change completely from an Israeli alliance to the Arab alliance. I gave very good speech, including castro broke relationship with Israel, after my speech. Could I ask His Majesty what sequence of events he would like to see now in the Middle East? Does the possibility of uh, an attack on you by maybe people here but all people outside, does that worry you? <laughs> وجل أكبر كل شيء وأنه بيده ملكوت كل شيء وإليه يرجع الأمر كله وما كان الله ليعجزه من شيء في الأرض ولا في السماء هذه العقيدة التي رجعت خلال السنوات الثمان من خلال الدماء ومن خلال هذه المواقف الصلبة نريد أن نهزها في قلوب المسلمين الحمد لله اليوم المسلمون دخلت فيهم روح الجهاد والدفاع عن أعراضهم وعن أراضيهم وهذا فرض على المسلمون في كل مكان. Are you a fundamentalist? شو ما يجي فلوت ياسين. So we were saying to our friends of Soviet Union to consider their activities in the in the in the area, particularly in in Ethiopia. It is posing dangerous to the very existence of Somalia. Somalis are united to work together to rebuild their country, to maintain peace and security of their country, to trust each other, to live in harmony and look ahead. في أم المعارك الخالدة وما رافقها من حصار ظالم أليم أصابت العراق والأسد جروح في ساحات منازلاتها I am sorry to say that your mass media, the Western mass media always beside the Israelis. Your baby, your baby in this area. Uh, 
and you are forgetting completely this uh, organized terrorism even in the United Nations uh, Security Council you refuse to condemn this barbarian attack on the south but you bless it they attack the victim and then the criminal who attacked the victim accuses the victim of attacking him. This is American justice. This is American democracy. And those of you who are familiar with it know that in America, democracy is hypocrisy. Israeli are criminals and that they are not trusted people. They don't tell the world the truth. They were taken to Palestine as refugees and then they changed Palestine to become a state of Israel by force of arms given to them by Americans and the British. But is it true that you said Hitler didn't kill enough Jews during the war? <laughs> Why do you ask me about Hitler? If you continue this way, a permissive, undisciplined society, you are going to blow up. Hundreds of millions of Muslims cannot be characterized as a minority. We are 70 millions in the northwestern and northeastern zones of India. We constitute a majority of 70 percent against the caste Hindus in these homelands of ours. Do you think the time has now come for you to lead the country? Well, I've been elected by the people. Uh, let's find someone else from Mars and that's a different matter. The question on everyone's minds is, will Mr. Bhutto be hanged? All I will stress on this, that uh, justice must be done. Mujibar Rahman is the spokesman for East Pakistan, divided from the West by a thousand miles of India, held to the West only by a common Muslim faith. He has come to the talks this week to gain at least a large measure of home rule for the East. If it is not granted, he threatens complete withdrawal from the Union. No West Pakistani politician can rule without his support. Full regional autonomy. They must be self-sufficient in all respect. And also they must get their share due share, a legitimate share in this central administration. And I am sure the West Pakistan people support it. It is only the vested interest who want to divide the people of East West Pakistan and to exploit their sentiments who want to rule, their, uh, rule, rule this country. The Arab revolt did contribute to the victory of the Allies. First of all, it protected the British flank in Palestine. Second, it kept a number of Turkish and German troops preoccupied. And third, the, the British could have never legitimized what they were doing unless they had the blessing of a particular Arab force. A wise and good ruler, Kamal Ataturk, the man who turned the face of his country from the east to the west. He abolished the veil, the fez, and polygamy. He gave his people a Western code of law and a new alphabet. Made literacy a privilege of the masses instead of the few. All Turkey mourns his passing.